All right, everybody, we're back with the good old my player. So, all right, so uh, what I'm kind of thinking with this is same thing with Madden. I'll probably try to finish the season, go through the playoffs and stuff, and I'll probably cut this off so I can get to like MLB the show and stuff. Yeah, I'm also I might go back to this after this season too. Because I'm actually having fun with this, my player. So, it's unlike Madden. <laughs> but, all right, let's get going. Still looking for a freaking computer. Taking freaking forever. Can't wait to see what I actually can do when I actually have a good computer I can record off of instead of a, a kind of a, well, I guess sort of fast, but can't really handle the Elgato. <laughs> Let's see what my specs are. I got a Gateway NB79, Intel Core i5, 4 gigabytes memory. Oh, I'm not quite sure how quick it is with the graphics card in it. What has to check later on. But yeah, it's definitely not as quick as like if I got a real good gaming PC or something. So, alright, let's get going. We got a good game to go. I didn't even look who we're facing. The Clippers. Alright. Am I gonna be on, uh, what, Blake Griffin? Yeah. Maybe. I thought Blake Griffin was a power forward. Let me get it on that court. There I am, Blake Griffin. Yeah. Oh, offense? Give me that ball. Give me that freaking ball. Let's it up off the inbound. And yes, good shot. Good freaking shot. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go quickly over to Dorisburg for an update. What's up, Blake? Yes, guys. Mike Boudreaux. What's up, Blake? He said to his guys, "We need to make things very difficult for them on the perimeter." Oh. Wow, he went right around him. Chris Paul. Kevin, we'll see how that strategy pans hey, out as this game develops. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Guys, we've talked about Chris Paul and his leadership. It's on display off the court as well. He's a member of the Players Union Executive Committee. And after the scathing independent review of... Right the over Blake Griffin. Ha ha. Heck yeah. All right. See how that all plays out. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what else we can do. Paul, left side. Wow, T Jeff T cannot handle Chris Paul. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Jenkins, he's checked in for Lou Williams. All right. You know, Steve, if you're going to shift gears and look beyond just the game itself, Chris Paul and the players do. Perhaps now some closer oversight of how their interests are being handled. I think now they want to tighten the screws a little bit. Well, they should. That's a good there thing. There we go. Yeah, the players should know <laughs> Let's make both of these. The business of basketball, they should understand their finances. No. No. How could you miss it? Dude, we're down by freaking... Oh, my. They're down by seven now. Los Angeles Clippers, they come into this one following a loss to Indiana. Their offense really No, 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 no. God dang it. Chris Paul's tearing everybody up. It wasn't too bad, but this game still is about making shots, and the shot making wasn't there. A minute 50 left in the first quarter. Here's money. No, he missed. Ah, oh, man. Job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Jordan with a screen on T. Barnes kicks to Jordan. Oh wow. To finish it off. Couldn't stop yeah, him. What the freak? Game plan coming into this one. That's been very apparent. And you gotta catch up, I believe. I think that's in. First quarter, Steve. You could be headed for blowout city. Corver kicks to Scott. 
Here's money guarded by Jordan. God dang it. Wow. Bad game for me. 11 points last game. The feed to Paul. Now here's Crawford. He's covered closely. Great D that time from T. Corver passes to Money. There we go. Nice touch off the glass. Money's got his second bucket of the night. Look at the last game for the Atlanta Hawks. It was a win against the San Antonio Spurs. Tell you what, the way they shot the ball that game, Kevin, it looked like a shoot around out there. <laughs> they sure did, and all the stuff. Uh, they did it on the road. Give me that. Yes, we got it. Get that hot in an opponent's building. Ah, oh, Tig. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Ill-advised dunk attempt there. Game for the highlight reel and ended up on the blooper reel. That's the tenth straight. Oh, he's being on the blooper reel. Well, at least it wasn't me. It's Tig. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how good uh, the perimeter defense is if they're gonna allow inside looks as easy as that. Tries it from nine. Nice. Got an assist. Six seconds left in the first quarter. Into Jordan. Seconds left. Oh wow! What the frick? I can't stop Jordan. It has taken them no time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter. Off the Ooh! Almost made that. To put pressure on the defense. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Los Angeles. Oh, not playing very well right now. Two <laughs> K Sports back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. Put me back on Blake Griffin. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And quite a position here for the Clippers to be in. What do you think, guys? Pretty much smooth sailing offensively. They were in a rhythm right from the beginning. Steve, they've simply made it look easy. And Aww, let's check out the Blake Griffin, how game. dare you? All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court for Atlanta. Money, he's in at power forward. Lewis Williams out there with Jared Cunningham. Then there's Horford. Wow. God. Mm. That is good. Horrible. Nicely done. They Bad defense. To dominate Bad the defense. Ten points in a row in the lane. It's now purely here it comes. See if you can stop it. You know, despite a bit of an apathetic fan base, the Hawks always nice. seem to be pretty good at home. 125 or 41 last year and had a 44-38 overall record. Really hard to decide, guys, which was better. The pass? Yes, or the slam. Clark, there's no wrong answer to that one, my friend. <laughs> Sensational alley oop all the way around. God dang it. All of the above. They're all making it on me. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Nobody really seems to talk about it, Clark, but the Hawks have been absolutely dynamite here at home over the last half decade. Steve, as a visitor, you know this. Very tough. To ah! Well, he was in my way. What am I else supposed to do? Freaking run him over? I can do that if you want me to do that. What the freak? Lot of exciting players. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Byron Mullins comes in for Matt Barnes. Yes. And JJ Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford. God dang it! And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And let's go now to the rookie watch. For the past month, these have been the most productive NBA There we go. Suck it close, baby. Second in the league, having an excellent season. And those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league. Yeah, it's been a heck of a month for him, no doubt about that. I mean, let's see if he can continue to build on it, though. And let's catch up with our side. Yes. Doris Brooke. Doris, over to you. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Spurs got down to business. He picked up 16 points and played some lockdown defense as well, causing havoc on both ends of the floor. This was the latest chapter in what has been a stretch of very good outings for him. Will we see another one tonight, Kevin? All right, thanks, Doris. He's got a lot of positives to take away from that game. Uh, clearly, Steve. Yeah, he played a huge role for them. His contributions are always important, but I thought he was particularly good that night. Yeah, he was very solid. Just really locked in, engaged, on task. Solid performance. Where was he going with that pass? Well, that's just an awful turnover. And the Clippers making a change here. Here is Cunningham. They just worked San Antonio in that last game. Outside Williams. 
We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's money defended by there we go. And it's good for money. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. Oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Allison with it. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Six on the shot clock. Rejected by Cunningham. Here's Williams. Oh, took the contact Whoa. and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, Come on, Lewis Williams. We got to get this. Well, Lewis Williams Boom. has two things working yes. for him on the offense. At first, he's lightning fast. And Oh, uh, yes. So well that he's able to use catch up. Got to catch up. Come on. All right. Ooh. Think you're doing, Blake? Ow. Oh, he missed anyways. Yes. There we go. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started, and a better job finishing it off. Ah, uh, oh, good. We didn't need that. Going back to Williams, more turnover prone last season than we're used to seeing. Yeah, that's normally a strength of his, Kevin. High volume offense without turning it over. Nice. Answer right back on. Be you tougher. Outside Collison. Collison off the pick from Mullins. Ah! Man off the screen and lays it up and in. Collison's got try to get there. Points in this one. Here's Williams. He's got six. And the pass to Money. Williams kicks to Carroll. Pass to Money. The kick out to wow, man, I didn't want to pass there. The Clippers moving it up. Agility leads to thievery there as he got his hand in there to get the steal. Intelligent play to a medium. One thing break. about this Plays game like that kind of sucks is the passing. This game for me so far, Clark. They cannot afford to hand over any more easy points like that. Here's money defended by Griffin. Oh my god, I got freaking stuff. God damn. Able to keep the ball here. A moment now to look at the all-time list for blocks in a season. Seven foot four, Mark Eaton with five and a half blocks a game. Wow. <laughs> that, that is a ridiculous number, Kevin. Uh, Eaton was a two-time defensive player of the year. Just a fourth-round pick out of UCLA back in 1982. Now we made it anyway. Screw you. Los Angeles calls timeout, and this game, the first chance they've had to see Atlanta. Well, they thought they'd handle this club last year both times, but uh, they actually split the two season meetings. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way. On yes, the there we go. Nice Before stuff. Last break, I listened to Doc Rivers address his team. He's looking for some old-fashioned offense right now. He wants the pick and roll to be the centerpiece of their game plan at that end of the floor. The other thing he touched on was the physical aspect of this contest. There we go. He wants his guys using their strength and muscle to make things happen. Well, coach not wasting any time in tweaking the game plan. We'll see if it makes a difference as we approach halftime, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. You know, you would think, as you said, Steve, that no matter what building they were in, this is a team. They should have beaten both times. Yes. Something to do with the fact that they're just not a very familiar opponent. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Martin kicks the tee. Fires for three. No, I, I can't believe that. I freaking press watch. Screw you. With the ball picked up by T, and he lobs it up toward the rim. Yes, no, outside green. Oh, up this is gonna end. And that one's good. Paul's got 12 in the game. Oh, uh, you gotta like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. Brand left side passes it to court. Brand dishes to Corver. The turnaround J. Nice shot. Corver 
Rogers got his first basket of the night. Well, they're finally starting to shoot the ball a little bit better now. You know, I thought this was the play, the kind of play they needed in the first quarter, but as I always like to say, it's better late than never. A drive by Paul. Oh my goodness. I'm cut I'm taking your spy out, Brand. You freaking are blowing it. And Los Angeles with some changes. Scott comes in for Elton Brand. And John Jenkins subbed in for Cartier Martin. Teague, the pass to money. To the paint. Makes it there you go. Money's got 10. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Out to the wing. Uh, oh, he missed. Nice. Shot misses. Oh, he'd like to have that one back. Dishes it to Scott. Here's Teague. And there you go. He's got nine. Down by six. Come on. Angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Paul kicks to Barnes. Beyond the arc. Scott pulls it in. Here's nice. And now it's just a four-point clipper lead. Here's Paul. Ooh. First game as we wrap up the second quarter. Hi, Kevin. Well, Doc, as we get into the second half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's been great basketball going on in Atlanta. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Atlanta. Right. And a shot here from. Oh, nice. Only down by two. Here's Williams. He's got 11 to the inside. The game now all time. And 12 points for money. They finally fought all the way back to even the score. Back to square one. Whole new ball game. Come back like that, they definitely got the upper hand going forward. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Allison is out there with JJ Reddick, and it's Crawford. God and dang it. Screw you, Blake Griffin. Griffin in at the pivot Screw spot, you. Manning the middle. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Williams dishes the tee. Back to Williams. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. You know, oh, CP3 yes. A lot of things, guys, to change the culture of the Clippers. But one that maybe yes. is how much he encourages and model talking on defense with his team. You don't call out a screen or a rotation on his team, he'll call you out about it. Come out. Collison. Reddit passes to Barnes. Rocket six. It's Crawford with the drive. And he God hits dang it. Before the shot clock expires. Crawford's got seven now in this quarter. And we've seen the Clippers turn around over the last few years. It doesn't just happen purely with talent. Oh, it helps nice. Really. But Steve, a lot of it has to do with the change in the team's mindset. Yeah, you can load up a team with a bunch of scorers and talented players, but if they aren't playing for each other and motivated to have each other's backs, then it does nothing. And I think Paul has done wonders for just the chemistry and the oh, mindset oh, oh. of this Clippers team. And that's a so that will be his second. Don't make this. Ugh. Well, you know, Matt Barnes back in high school was an all-American wide receiver. He led the nation in touchdown catches his senior season. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Mike Scott's checked in for Horford. Horver comes in for Damari Carroll. Jenkins, he's checked. God dang it, Blake Griffin. He's cutting him in for T. Ball that is not loose, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. And for Matt Barnes, you can see some of that Dude's football influence mad. in his style of play. He's one of the highest recruited wide receivers coming out of high school before he went and played basketball. God. Yeah, he really knows how to 
to go and get that ball, whether it's a, a loose ball or an offensive rebound. You know what, Blake Griffin, uh, and he's give me this ball right now. You're right. He was to play high school ball in Sacramento, and he had a lot of college coaches wanting to come play on fall Saturdays. Corver kicks to Jenkins. Gary's nice. Jenkins got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now Collison, averaging six points per contest. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Miss these shots. Nice Come on. Yes. 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 Dang it. Well, with a team percentage of 81% from the line on the season, this is one of the best free throw shooting teams in the NBA. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about I should have dunked that. <laughs> oh, well. Forgot. And for Collison last season, he shot the ball well and up his rate of scoring and assists. And it's the increase in assists that encourages me, Kevin. He's not a dynamic playmaker, but I think he's becoming a solid one. And with his quickness and shooting, he really just needs to be more of a, a point guard, more of a, a distributor to reach his full potential. Right side, Griffin. There's Green with the three. There's oh, the my field. goodness. Green's got his first three points of the game. Here's Cunningham. Oh! And the game still closely continues. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck and neck game. All right, let's go. And let's take Oh, crap. All right, nice. Ball against T. Now here's Paul. He's guarded close to take the lead. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the uh. left and two shots coming up. Well, I'm sure Chris Paul did not have oh, yes. last season in. He's hungry for a time. For the franchise best in wins for the Clippers. And for C P All right. 80, another great season to 88. I think he's got to take some solace in that. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. Paul Millsap out there with money. And it's nice. And at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Yes. The defense starting to falter. I think we're seeing some tired legs there, Clark. And for Chris Paul last season, a career low in minutes. With a great backup behind him and Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, even when Paul missed Oh, him. nice. Out of bounds. Clippers did fine without him, but now Bledsoe is on to Phoenix after the trade. Darren Collison steps into that backup role, and we'll see how he's able to fare. Millsap oh. Pass to Horford. Back to Millsap. Get out of the freaking box. Hawks passing it around. Here's money. Ah! So he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Really a there you go. Imposing player, Kevin. And he brings that to bear at every opportunity. He's never someone to nice. Down, especially when the intensity ramps up. I mean, he seems to throw his weight around and, and just bring that energy that you need. And you know what, Steve? His teammates love playing with him because he gets them so many assists thanks to his catch and shoot ability. A lot of ah. right off the pass. <laughs> I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half. Miss. In no. Well, you know, that's when you need to be most aggressive when you're doing a good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. Yes. He doesn't get the second one. He's been to the line here more than in the first. I thought he was a bit tentative in that first, but I like the aggressiveness he's showing here now. Millsap dishes to Williams. And there's the pass to Money. That was horrible. <laughs> Blake Griffin keeps stuffing me, freaking jerk. Not a freaking turkey, you idiot. <laughs> uh. Six to shoot. Williams against Crawford. Ah! Keeps stuffing everybody. Oh wow, wide open. Come on man, they changed my dude like at the last minute. Bull crap. Millsap kicks to Horford. 
unloads from nine. Nice. Oh, good. good shot. The that was as sweet as honey. The Clippers have gone eight of fourteen from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Up to the right wing. Here's Griffin. Ah. Griffin's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Teague, the pass to Money. Outside Millsap. On the wing, Williams. Guarded by Crawford. Shot clock at five. Oh. And now Paul. No! Stop him. Gets the go ahead. No! Down by two. No. Give me the ball. Hurry up. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. You also can't overlook how well they defended the rim. As they've challenged virtually every Yes. That's good. 20 points for money. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. Yes, go, go, go. Right side, Williams. They set the pick. Ah, how dare you push me over, Barnes? Williams kicks to Millsap. Come on, get that! Ah! Try to dunk it over everyone. I couldn't do it. Ah! Alley oop! God dang it, Blake Griffin! Come on! Come on! Shoot! Come back! No! No good. Boy, they almost tied it up with that shot. Ah! This close here in the fourth quarter. God dang it. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fine. As much as the score right now. Oh, man. Come on, miss both of these. Dang it. And that makes it a three-point lead. So we get a four-point ball game. Free throws there to ensure that they're going to go home with the W. Teague for three. The shot will not go. God dang it. Ah! The Clippers taking the win in a close one. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail button. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by uh. on the sideline, Doris. Yeah, that sucks. Gentlemen, I'm here with Darren Collison, and Darren, what does it show up? Ugh. I think I was pretty geek. Well, I guess not. I don't know. Seven misses. Got good points. Let's see what he says. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of them. Yeah, this again. So, how are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? Put more minutes. I mean, we could be having very good success. Well, I've been playing pretty well lately. I feel like if I had some more minutes, I could really take my game to the next level. <laughs> you have stepped it up lately. But, coach is the one who ultimately decides on the rotation. I'll talk to him, see if there's anything we can do. Yeah, that'd be great, but only if you think it makes sense. 
I don't want to second guess coach. I'm just letting you know what I'm thinking. Of course. We're always going to make a decision that's right for this organization, but I appreciate your input. That's good to hear. <clears throat> Still 28. Yeah, I'm a freaking 80 overall power forward. I should be in the freaking starting lineup. Oh, I got the thing anyways. Freaking lost though. God dang it.